by our military in 2018. It's in Iraq over a sensitive facility. Why it caught my attention is because it was designated UAP unidentified aerial phenomena by our intelligence agencies. And then it was treated with just spectacular secrecy. So it was important enough that this video was sent to me. It does not look like a traditional UFO, like a sphere or a saucer, but this shape has been seen since the beginning of UAP or UFOs. They call it the jellyfish UAP. It's in thermal. It was filmed on a weapons platform. You see that there's a dog there. You see the animals are black. I'm assuming this is black hot. You see the object just went to white and you'll see it going from white to black, white to black. And that's basically showing the heat differentials. So it's going like hot and cold, hot and cold. The problem was the optics platform was jammed. These individuals who target with these platforms, they can shoot out an Al-Qaeda tire at 27 miles away, but not being able to lock it was one of the first signs that something's weird. I was able to find direct eyewitnesses and corroborate that this event did happen. When individuals would target in on it with the optics, the way it was described, each of these hanging things, they were stiff, like they weren't moving. They had a geometric form, like scales. What was said to me is scales, like an armor. There were also people with night vision who were out and they were tasked to, to go look for it. Couldn't see it on the night vision. Only in the thermal spectrum could it be seen. But anything that looks like that appears to have a payload, that's a big deal. It could be dangerous, so these are high priority. But what happened is there were a couple other nations involved and the feeds were shut, just shut immediately. So that put me on high alert too. Why is it completely being shut down? But that's not all it did. goes out over a body of water. I'm told it stops on a dime, descends into the water, stiff into the water. And for 17 minutes, nothing. And boom, this thing comes up out of the water and shoots off at 45 degrees, just like that. It looks very much like what I've heard that has made incursions into nuclear facilities because I know for sure, fact of the matter, there is footage from inside a nuclear facility. And I'll just say it, Pantex, that's the one, man. Something that appears identical to this moves between these nuclear silos and shot off again at a 45 degree angle. What it is, I don't know, but now, when it goes over a body of water, I do have some footage of that. This is when that same object, a jellyfish UFO, goes out over this. This, like, you can kind of get an idea by that distance now how far these optic systems can reach. When it gets to that point where it's over the water, every source that I have talked with who is aware of this footage, that footage exists. You've got a UFO or UAP descends into the water stiff, comes back up and then shoots off 45 degrees. Now, this was taken by an intelligence agency and, and buried. So I don't know, man, these are the cases that spark me. I don't know what this is. I just know when I get military filmed UAP footage designated where people risk getting that to me, I take it as serious as it sounds and I try to get to the bottom of it. And it's hard, you know, but I, I do have a number of direct eyewitnesses now. What am I sitting on? Yeah, you and every other intelligence agency on planet Earth wants to know the answer to that question.